Hey, what is up YouTube? This is Marmon Master coming at you guys from Team Time Riders YouTube channel with an awesome deck profile today. Uh, this is going to be the first time that I've profiled this deck in quite a while, but today we are going to be profiling an old format Time Wizard style Pegasus Challenge deck. Now, for those of you guys who don't know that what Pegasus uh, Challenge is, it is a type of dueling challenge where you basically build a deck out of just one rarity. And guess what the rarity I chose was, guys? It was Secret Rare. So basically, you just have to pick one rarity, and all your main side and extra deck has to be of that rarity. So with this deck, I just picked up a whole bunch of Secret Rares that I've had together, threw them all in a deck, like, you know, just like not none of the stuff that really anybody uses. Threw it in a deck, and this was a creation. And uh, so super excited to show this to you guys, because surprisingly, it actually works like a pretty good deck. So... Without further ado, I've organized it uh, pretty simply, and uh, let's get right through it. So first and foremost, starting out with Mechlord Emperor Skeel, level one monster, destroyed by card effect. Uh, helps out with synchro, uh, stealing synchro monsters and whatnot, but ultimately he's just kind of a beater. Really nice looking card. Got one card, card D, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, one copy of Card Blocker, think Card Trooper, but a defense mode position monster. The next card we've got is the Math Man himself, Mathematician, who's basically a foolish burial for most of your cards. A uh, card that many people haven't seen in a while is Wind Up Rabbit, who can banish himself from the game to protect himself. Uh, and you basically use him as tribute summoning fodder. <coughs> we, of course, have uh, Injection Fairy Lily. Um, very, very popular card from way, way back in the day. Um, Super fun. A lot of people can attack into her because they don't know that she'll pay 2,000 and boost yourself up. And the final level three we've got in this deck is one copy of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Moving on to our level fours. Oldie but a goodie, guys. We've got two copies of Fire Hand and two copies of Ice Hand. One of the coolest combo uh, cards in the game. Fire summons ice and ice summons fire, and they pop... Uh, Fire pops monsters and ice pops spell and traps. Great for like the hand artifact trap tricks format, things like that. We've next got one copy of Breaker the Magic Warrior for popping those spells and traps. One copy of Dark Greffer. And finally, a single copy of Stygian Street Patrol. Moving on, one copy of Card Guard. This is one of the cool cards that you can summon off of Stygian Street Patrol. Basically what he does is when he comes to the field, he puts a guard counter, and then you can take that guard counter and put it on any other card. And uh, once while that guard counter is on the card, basically you, pre uh, you can prevent it from being destroyed by battle or card effects once. Of course, brand new uh, card for this deck. We've got a single copy of Dark Honest. They miss the opportunity to do Dishonest, and it's slightly different than Honest because it affects the opponent's monster. So many people don't like it as much as actual Honest, but it's still a really, really cool card and one of the most amazing new artworks that they have in the game. Honestly, this card looks fantastic. I saw it in a binder after being on a hiatus for a while and was just like, this is amazing. Now, for an oldie but a goodie and a really fun, fantastic card, we've got Tardy Orc. Uh, funny story behind him, there was a set called... Uh, Order of Chaos, which its whole thing was Orcs, O-R-C-S, but this guy came out in Galactic Overlord, which was a set after, and Konami released this card in the set after just to make the joke, why did this, uh, why were there no Orcs in O-R-C-S? It's because this guy missed the boss, aka Tardy Orc. Next we've got Genex Ally Duradark, can pop one uh, dark monster on the field, one Skull Meister, uh, one of the many hand traps in the game, uh, one Battlestorm, just a, uh, elite, at the very least, an 1800 beater. Hardened Arm Dragon, uh, you can special summon him by discarding a uh, level seven or higher monster. And then when you use him for a tribute summon, like for some of the higher level monsters in the deck, this guy will uh, make them indestructible by card effects, which has some pretty cool effects that it can make. One copy of Inspector Border, might bump this guy's number up since I have a couple more copies. Uh, but this deck is like very much kind of just a fun, uh, sort of deck. This is a really cool card here, Abyssal King Shark. Uh, this card is really awesome because it's, it, it, it's interesting effect is that it cannot be destroyed 
by effects that do not target it. So you think like a Dark Hole or a Raigeki or something like that, but if you're gonna go Raigeki Break, yes, you can destroy this card, but this card has protection from like wide branded destruct destruction effects. So like gimmicky card like that, like just this really, really super cool card and had to add it to the deck. One copy of Fossil Dina Pachycephalo, um, pretty self-explanatory, everybody knows what this does. And uh, rounding out our level fours is a copy of Cyblocker. Very, very cool card. Uh, just declare, like, it's basically prohibition, but in monster form. Moving on to our level fives. We've got one copy of Vampire Dragon. Uh, one copy of Dragon Ice. And finally, bringing up the rear is a single copy of Dark General Freed, who, uh, you know, all of these guys um, just tribute summon or special summon them off of different monsters. Uh, very, very cool cards. For our level six, we have Dark Red Enchanter, End of Anubis, and Majesty's Fiend. Level sevens, Gores, Cerevis, the Ancient and Ascended, and uh, uh, Puppet King, and Dark Simorg. Finally, rounding out our level eights. We have the eponymous Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, and then Invader of Darkness, um, basically uh, prevents your opponent from activating quick play spell cards, which uh, surprisingly, guys, has uh, great usage. Like, you, you know, got this out against a sprite player, they can't activate starter or any of their other cards. And, yeah, they can still pop the card, but um, it stopped the guy for at least one turn, which was, which was more than I was expecting. One copy of Belial, the Marquis of Darkness. Basically think like a lightning rod for all your targeting effects. And if you summon any of these guys out using your hard and arm dragon, uh, they become protected and indestructible by card effects, which is really, really cool. One copy of Fiendish Engine Omega. This is the main card that you use with your uh, hard and arm dragon. Just boosts them up by a lot of attack power and uh, very, very cool card. And finally finishing things out is Medion the Time Lord. Um, just one of the coolest secret rares in the game. All right, now that's it for the monsters. We're going to be moving on to the spells. So spell lineup is pretty self-explanatory and actually pretty small. We've got three copies of Clear World. Um, this card is just super, super cool. One of my favorite field spells in the game. Uh, great against light and dark decks as well. They can't reveal for many of their effects. Um, but also has some like really interesting effects for uh, other archetypes in the game, such as water and fire. One copy of Galaxy Cyclone. A single copy of Shard of Greed. Yes, you know, should be adding in some of the pot cards as well, but the way that we like to do this is, you know, just like some lesser known main set secret rares. And finally, the great guarded treasure. If you can actually trigger this and keep it on the board, which you can do if you put a guard counter on it, um, you can actually do a lot of damage. And it's like really, really cool if this stays on the field for a sustained amount of time, because you just discard five cards and then from then on in, you're drawing two cards per draw phase instead of one. Uh, traps are next. Uh, we've got two copies of Ultimate Providence. Uh, whenever Think about like forbidden droplets, but in trap form to the sense that basically if your opponent activates a monster spell or trap, you discard either a monster spell or trap, like the same as whatever your opponent activated and negate that thing. Two copies of First Monarch, great to act as two tributes for your dark monsters on the board. Uh, it's just a trap monster, but uh, really, really nice secret rare card that came out in Legacy of the Valiant, one of my all time favorite sets. We've got our Mirror Forces, Storming Mirror Force, and Drowning Mirror Force. Uh, for more Battle Traps as well, here is Magic Cylinder. Uh, and Pinpoint Guard is cool because you can special summon a monster from the grave and that monster becomes indestructible by battle. So I actually won a duel because I summoned out the, um, this guy right here, the, wherever he is, the Card Breaker, or the Card Blocker. Uh, you can summon him out, and then he'll instantly gain defense points as your opponent tries to keep attacking into them. So it's just got basically uh, 
this little combo here is like one of those like cool little combos that you might not realize, but uh, you know, those combos are the heart and soul of like fun casual Yu-Gi-Oh playing. One copy of the Forceful Checkpoint, your opponent attacks, it's their detriment, rip a card out of their hand. One Golden Apple, your opponent attacks, you gain the life points of their attack monster back and special summon a token to the field with that effect. One copy of Under Underdog, think about skill drain, but it like turns itself off during your or your opponent's turn. Mistake, prevent searching, a la Thunder Dragon Colossus. Anti-spell fragrance, we don't have many spells in here, so this works. Single copy of Ring of Destruction. One copy of Dimensional Barrier. Uh, Fuse Line for those uh, you know, classic destruction effects. And finally, to close things out, we've got a single copy of Sales Pitch. Search any card in the deck whenever your opponent searches. So that is going to wrap up the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a 60 card, all secret rare, mostly first edition, Pegasus Challenge deck. Really hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. More to come. Catch you guys later. This is the Mermail Master signing out. Peace.